Okay, right now I'm about southeast of Black Point. I'm back in a little cove, closer to A1A on the um, eastern side of the lagoon. And uh, water is clear. Um, like I said, we just had all this rain. And you guys know you're getting dumped on down south, but uh, water's fairly clear. There's a little bit of grass growing over here. I just wanted to cover some more areas rather than just Black Point, but uh, just kind of show what's going on. Because on the east side, I saw some really cool stuff I'll show you later. But uh, not looking too bad over here on the, uh, excuse me, the west side. On, on the east side, there's a little bit of grass. It's kind of encouraging. Um, going to paddle now back to Black Point. Now the sun's come up and get the cameras underneath there. It's a little murky with all the rain that we've got. And, you know, that we do have run local runoff. But uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, back out here at Black Point. A little windier than what they said it was going to be. Blowing out of the west. I can see the clarity of the water is so-so. We got an, yeah, we're getting toward the uh, end of the outgoing tide. So this is all the dirty water being flushed out of the inlet. Um, it's a heck of a lot better than what they have down south. I don't see that much improvement out here at Black Point as I do inside along the uh, mangroves and stuff but uh, I am going to put the cameras down going to look around All right. well I'm back in the mangroves heading toward uh, Pelican Island and the uh, flats back here are shallow but there is grass growing so it's a, it's a good sign water's still a little murky from all the rains we had torrential rains yesterday it's supposed to have more rains coming in around one o'clock today typical summertime pattern but most of the runoff here is local but uh like what i see here like what i see here so i'm sure the redfish nook and trout and all the bait fish are going to love it too so anyway going to make my way back to the west side and see what's going on in there I just paddled about 15 miles, went to Black Point, went further east, and then I went south about five miles. Then I went over to the west bank of the Indian River Lagoon. And let me tell you, there's areas in this lagoon that I can see four feet down. And there is all kinds of different grasses that are growing now. So I'm really excited about it in all different parts of the lagoon. Black Point's still pretty muddy. That's a big open area. Um, where I've been shooting my videos. So I wanted to check out different areas around Sebastian. Guys, it's looking good. So, I know down south they're dumping water out of the, in, from Lake Okeechobee. They're talking about the uh, blue-green algae coming up here. No worries. The water looks good. The grass is coming back. Yes, we've got a lot of rain too. The big difference is where we're at, we're at the what they call the headwaters of the St. John's River and what we've done here is sent the water naturally flowing north up the St. John's River. Down south, the flow goes the other way into the Everglades, the River of Grass. All that water out west is supposed to, are supposed to flow um, south down the River of Grass. But instead, they're taking the easy way route and just dumping it out and basically polluting the, um, St. the um, in the river and also on the west coast also Sanibel is taking a pounding and more than likely they're going to have a really bad red tide this year from all the nutrients that are going in there. Guys, it doesn't have to be that way. Man, I know everyone talks about what to do. I think what to do is look at what Mother Nature has been doing for thousands and thousands of years. She's perfected it. She sent water here north up the St. John's River. She sent water south filtering through the Everglades into Florida Bay. Now they're dumping billions of gallons in the east and west coast, and even if it was pure fresh water, it would kill 
the oysters and seagrass. It's not designed. Mother Nature did not intend it to go that way. It's intended to go down into the Everglades, the river of grass, into Florida Bay. Now, Florida Bay is dying too. Not from too much water because it's not getting enough water. They're dumping it out the sides and not letting it flow naturally. So Florida Bay is dying from not enough water. And in the River Lagoon and over on the west coast of Santa Bowl, they're dying from too much water. Sounds like a simple fix, doesn't it? And honestly, it really is. Send the water south, guys. We're sending it north, and look what the lagoon looks like now. This is today, okay? Look what it looks like today. Look what it looks like down in Stewart. It's a shame. I mean, I've seen snook, I've seen trout. I can sight fish for redfish. I'm seeing birds, I'm seeing manatees, dolphins. I'm seeing seahorses. I mean, not seahorse, but uh, horseshoe crabs and uh, sharks. Everything in this lagoon today is unpaddling. And we've had, we've been getting dumped on by rain, just like they are down south. So if you don't think it can be done, and you hear everyone saying, wow, they need to send the water south. If you send the water south, down there in Stewart, it would look like this. And this is looking pretty darn good considering. You know, it's not 100% what we're doing in here with the, uh, with the uh, Headwaters Lake. You know, there's times like last year they had to dump from the hurricane, just they say one in 100 year storm, which was last year. And hopefully it'll be 100 years before they have to dump water into the lagoon again because it was starting to make a comeback. It's doing it again. And I will keep my eyes on the river up here and let you know what's going on. But something is working. We're sending the water the way Mother Nature intended to go letting it flow up north, not dumping it in the lagoon. We still got issues. Fertilizers, septic tanks, uh, a host of issues here. But we're giving Mother Nature at least half a chance by not dumping all the water from out west into the lagoon here. We're still going to fight all these other issues. But for now, like I say, in Sebastian, we're giving Mother Nature a chance. Guys, please do the same thing down south. Please share this, you know, like it share it with others and let's get the word out something can be done and is being done lagoon looks great here you guys now i'm going to go out there and catch some fish while i'm out here till next time this is pete hink and remember all the money i make off this video goes to charity so watch that little uh, commercial in the front hopefully it's not too long but it is going to uh, a charity so please and uh, i'm putting every cent to it on my seagrass videos so i really do appreciate it thank you